Hey guys, Train Lover 16 here. Welcome to another installment of my random shit reaction series. So it's been kind of a long day for me. Quite a quite a busy day. Yeah, it's been a long day for me and a long week as a matter of fact. A lot a, it's, yeah, it's been a very eventful week and and a pretty eventful day as well. However, um, however, because of this, I almost forgot to get one of these out, but I remembered in time, so I'm gonna do one now. Today we're reacting to another Terror Hawks episode, from, the episode is Season 1, Episode 10, From Here to Infinity. Without further ado, let us begin. Terrorhawk. Sorry, let me just turn the... Make sure the volume's turned down enough. Okay, let's go. Terrorhawks, stay on this channel. This is an emergency. <laughs> what? The audio went a bit funny there. <laughs> Christ. What on earth's happening? I love this show. La 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 That looks like a space dildo. <laughs> what kind of snoring is that? Do they have... Is he like... Is he like... Flowing his lubricant flu through his mouth, baby? We're getting close now. Yeah. What oh, thunderbolts? Flaming thunderbolts. I knew he'd say that. Zero? What are you playing at? Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, sir. I must have been snoring. <laughs> For space sake, Zero, how can you be snoring? You must have a faulty circuit. Get it fixed before I pull your plug. God! I did say that Neinstein was very, um... Nothing in the area. Dr. I did Einstein? say that, um... Have a sighting. Do you have a preliminary I scan? I did say that, um, indicate Einstein was body. very, um... No life sign. Oh, no was very aggressive sense. towards the zeroids. Case in Tenzo. point. Pulling the... Pulling his... Pulling his plug Full out for not... Just Full for not, um... Getting... Getting himself checked up. Looks like Christ. one of those early probes. It can't be. I don't like it. Zero? Check the missing craft log. Fast data search. I want to know what that is. So, 1988, Venus probe delta. Malfunction during second orbital phase. 10 zero. Incompatible design characteristics. 1997, Russian space liner. Moskva 111. Far too small. It could be a Moskva 426. No way, lad. You better get your circuits tested. Will you two get your act together? What do we have here? Your mom. <laughs> Space Probe Alpha. Launched 1999. Well? <clears throat> he's... he's right, sir. Are you sure? Certain, sir. 
positive identification. And we've got big trouble. Yeah. That probe was never designed to return. Zelda is obviously behind this. Thanks for agreeing to meet, Doctor. You made it sound important. It is. We must salvage that Alpha probe. I'll need to be convinced it's a job for Terrahawks. After hearing what I've got to tell you, I guarantee you'll be convinced. Where are you now? Fifteen minutes from Rendezvous. There'll be someone there to meet you. Oh, again, nice, um, model work. I can tell, um... This is where we part company, Commander. How the dust is being kicked up. Nice attention to detail. You're quite sure this is the place? On the nose? Well, I can't see anyone waiting. But if you're certain. Oh, he's in a spooky forest. Is Slenderman going to come out any minute? Or, or maybe Cla evening, Captain sir. Black. <gasps> I'm, here, I, I'm here to kill you. If I'm a car and I'm here to run you down. The Alpha probe suddenly, inexplicably, returns. A piece of space history. Well, hello. Right. Fanning it's them. <laughs> S it slave. For Slavery. All right, but Slavery why can't mark. NASA handle it? Alpha is powered by a Mark 24 nuclear rocket. If that probe re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, she'll burn up, explode, and contaminate the atmosphere with radioactive material. Mm. Only Terrahawks has the capability to bring her down now, that safely. that is a problem. Okay, Johnson. We'll bring her down. Where? NASA insists on absolute in hell. security. Bring her Your down into hell. Obvious choice. And then One Satan will skew, the will skewer it and, um, secret. and, Even and use you. it to destroy the entire Agreed. world, the whole solar system. How are you doing, Kate? It's about finished. Got enough green Kate? on you, on you, okay. on you, Mom? I'm going up to Space Hawk to lead the recovery team. I'm lifting off in a few minutes. Right. Take care Left. of the shop while I'm away. You got it, Tiger. You got it, Tiger. Very appropriate. Uh. How's that? The title of the piece I'm working on is Liftoff. Wanna hear it? Sure. Oh. Nice in joke. That's literally the um the launch theme of that's literally the um, launch theme of Free Free Hall. Literally the launch theme of Free Hall. Very nice in Joe. Martians were behind Good it. news, devoted ones. The trap is set. What trap? At last, Mouth trap. we will discover the stinking lair of the despicable Terrorhawks. Wonderful! Wonderful! Oh, my hair is gone again. I promise. And, and look, it's, and look, my grandma's back. And your grandma probably as well. Will be reduced to a smoking cinder. A cinder? <laughs> you mean a you mean a black you mean a black dragon who was once corrupted by the Dark Master? Is that what you mean by cinder, Zelda? Zelda. Stand clear. <laughs> I knew she was gonna do that. A smoking cinder! <laughs> oh, a smoking hot cinder? Oh, Spyro wants to know your location in that case. Oh, that 
such nice music. Welcome aboard, Doctor. Welcome Thanks, aboard. Hero. Well, what you're asking for is to convert that probe into a re-entry vehicle capable of powered descent. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I love those music cues. <laughs> exactly. Um, Doctor, I think that was quite race risk of you, actually. Good. Hang on, let me try and find my doctor. Uh, Doctor, that was actually quite racist of you, actually. <laughs> race risk, Doctor. 10 10, hero. 10 10. Alright, lad. Hop down. I don't I'll... understand. I'm relieving you of your post. Huh. Uh, All the light burned out hop. circuits you are. Uh, senior NCO. I'm telling you for the last time. You may have seniority on Earth, but up here you don't carry any weight. <laughs> I get it, because they're in space. Will you listen to me, lad? Will you two stop arguing and patch into the computer? Oh yeah, well that well they do have like, they, they do have a rivalry, so, the Sergeant Major Zero and 101. To let zeroids have different characteristics. Zeroids. I don't know. Different accents. Maybe it's all part of Rife's leech pattern. <laughs> so racist! <laughs> you would never get away with that today. Even for the 80s. That is... Hero being stereotypical there is pushing it. We're in Even for the 80s, 10 -10, that is pushing it. All right, Zero. Get your team out there. Saw. 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 Nice. Race wrist. <laughs> oh, but I, I love that music notes though. I am extremely race wrist. <laughs> Very racing. Stop or it's secured. Or it's secured. <laughs> Are you sure you can manage that computer all by yourself? You heard it, 101. Heard what? That you are that you are the Get stupidest robot in the entire oh, world. Team. You're the stupidest I mean, zeroid. <laughs> I can actually imagine <laughs> zero right. saying That's something like that. Sergeant Major. Wello. Zero's inside the probe. No the probe. problems so far, Doctor. So far, no problems. Problems. <laughs> Only I'm the sorry, purest genius I mother could have conceived the idea. The Earthmen destroy their own base. And we! Taken full advantage of their shock and dismay, <laughs> launch our attack! Launch our attack! <laughs> Wonderful! Oh, God. So that's that plan. Good work, Zero. Get your team back here. So. Kind of makes sense, but it doesn't at the same time. Strange. Very strange. Onboard computer programmed. Ten ten. Probe will come in. Oh, why do you sound, sound like Hawkeye? <laughs> Doctor Nightstone and Hawkeye have the same um. At the same voice actor, but only two that is zeroids strange. have returned to Spacehawk. What? Oh. Sergeant Major Zero is still out there. Zero, location report immediately. And when? I said immediately. I'm still in the probe, sir. Um, I had this theory that something isn't quite right here. You, Zero, are a robot. 
Robots never have theories. God, stop being a, a dick for Christ's sake. I'm not alone. What is it? I don't know, sir. But it's close. Very close. Like, oh, it's a QB boy. Zero, I'm giving you a direct order. Get back here immediately. Confirm. Your precious probe has been modified. It is now a gravity-triggered bomb being drawn inexorably to Earth and Terrorhawk's base! Doctor, we have a total systems failure. What? We can no longer control the probe. Don't worry, Doctor. Uh, the probe is programmed to land at the hawk nest. It will do it automatically. It will do it automatically! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. This is a disaster. They... Not Simon's gonna... It's about to blow up. What's wrong, mother? Kill. Kill the earth thing. Kill the earth. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Ah, oh, Christ. What is it, Zelda? My control is broken. But we will still succeed! No, you won't, you crone! I'm afraid that's right, sir. It was horrible. Horrible. It held me in some kind of force field. I couldn't even think. Couldn't even think. Oh, God. Amazing. Stay aboard, Zero. We may need you. So? What's the situation? Jet and rocket engines still functional, but the onboard computer's damaged. I can't make contact. So it can't be reprogrammed. That's right, Doctor. There's no way we can stop it hitting Hawk Nest. And with a gravity bomb aboard, maybe there's one way. Mary? Get Hawkwing Skyborne. 1010. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling at 1030. Repeat, at 1030. I'm on my way. Yeah, 1050. Zero. That's what I'm so, supposed to Patch into the main rocket ignition circuit. Bypassing the computer, sir? Right. I want you to be ready to fire those rockets manually. Manually? Mm. I'll be ready, sir. Oh. I want to talk to Kate as soon as she's Skyborne. Will it work, Doctor? It did better. That's something I that, that's something I don't know. Alpha probe at 60,000 feet. Point of impact? Hawk nest. Kate, we're short of time. Let's give it a try, Hawkeye. Say when and it's 10 10. Now. Yeah, yeah, Hawkeye is never right. Alpha probe at 40,000 feet. What an oven feet. See it, Kate. Ah, Have visual contact. Call the moment you've got that nose up. 10 10. There it is. Yeah. 30,000 feet. 
còn tay tỏ còn chi Let's try again. 20,000 oh, feet. We're going in again. Ten thousand feet. They're running out of feet. Nine thousand. They're running out of. Um, their Eight thousand. Seven thousand. Six thousand. Five thousand. Four thousand. Three thousand. Two thousand. Now, Kate. Zero fire rocket engines. So. Don't think it was into heaven. Not hell, but heaven. Oh, no. They made it. They made it. Ooh. I never doubted it. No sweat, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's all in a day's work, lad. Terra Hawks, the emergency is over. I'm returning to Earth. Yeah. I got the idea from reading about the old-time fighter pilots when they still had wars on Earth. Interesting. They it used to flip Earth. over unmanned flying bombs with their wingtips. And it worked? Oh. It I, worked think it was, them, I think that may have been really for us. done in World By War II. Way, have you seen Sergeant Major around anywhere? I haven't seen him since you came down to Earth. Flaming thunderbolts. Zero, location report. I'm in the Alpha Probe, sir. Can tell As per it's your fun. orders, approximate distance from Earth, one and a half million miles. A million miles? For space sake, get out of there, Zero. Yes, sir. How long will it take him to spacewalk to Spacehawk? About three days. Three days. Tiger, oh. how could you forget the Sergeant Major? Zero. I think I think so, he was unintentional just then. Have a safe journey. Thank you, sir. Oh. You. This is the life. Out in the open, foot slogging it back to base, space yomping. That's what it is. <laughs> Still, it's a long way. Yeah, very long. Well, I think I'll have a little snooze. Imagine if he could just go to sleep at will, even if we're not tired. Well, he got his sleep anyway at the very start of the episode. It's obviously three days later. Well, I actually enjoyed that reaction more than I thought I would. I didn't, as I'd forgotten to do it, I didn't think I'd really enjoy this reaction. But this episode is better than I remember it being. Quite thrilling and quite tense. Yeah, overall, really enjoyed it. So next week, guys, we'll be reacting to another episode of Down the Castle, followed by another episode of Train Spotting. Um. And, uh, and that show seems to have. As you guys all seem to really like my train spotting reaction. And then we'll, and then another episode of Tower Hawks after that. But then after that, I'm not too sure. But I'll have a think about it. That's it for now, though, guys, as I said. on the official Jerry Anderson channel, unlike all the previous episodes. So anyway, guys, as I said, that's it from me. Thanks, Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to me, Train Lover 16, if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye, everyone!